We're the eight planets in the five dwarf planets of the solar system. We all revolve around the sun. We're the eight planets in the five dwarf planets here to teach you about us. Sing along and have some fun. My name is Mercury. I'm the second hottest planet, but the closest one to the sun. A year on my surface is 88 days I'm the smallest but I'm lots of fun My name is Venus I'm the hottest planet But the second planet from the sun I'm the brightest planet in our solar system But I'm too hot for anyone My name is Earth I'm the planet you live on in the third planet from the sun. I'm the only planet with organic life, so take care of me because we're all one. My name is Mars, I am red in color, and I'm the fourth planet from the sun. I have the highest mountain in our solar system, a volcano named Olympus Mons. My name is Ceres, the first and smallest dwarf planet and the closest dwarf to the sun. I'm the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, I'm spun. My name is Jupiter, I am covered in clouds and I'm the fifth planet from the sun. My giant red spot is a raging storm, as for size I'm the biggest one. I am Saturn, I am brown in color and I'm the sixth planet from the sun. My outer rings are extremely thin, they're made of dust and icy chunks. My name's Uranus, I am blue in color, I'm the seventh planet from the sun. I orbit the sun once in 84 Earth years and was discovered in 1781. My name is Neptune, also blue in color, and I'm the eighth planet from the sun. And I'm the last gas giant in our solar system, and I'm also the coldest one. Hello, my name is Pluto, the second furthest door planet from the sun. That's where I'll be. I used to be the ninth planet in the solar system until the IAU demoted me. I didn't meet the three criteria that would make me a planet. Here's my explanation of the three. One, I do orbit the sun. Two, I'm rounded shaped due to my gravity, but I don't clear my neighborhood, you see. I'm Haumea, the dwarf planet discovered in 2004 within the Kuiper Belt. My elongated shape is caused by the fast rotations I make. I'm so happy that my presence is felt. I'm Maki Maki, the fourth dwarf planet from the sun, also located in the Kuiper Belt, you see. I have one provisional moon, its name is MK2, it's about 13,000 miles away from me. My name is Eries, also located in the Kuiper Belt, I'm the fifth dwarf planet from the sun. My one known moon named Dysnomia orbits about 16 days on its run. We're the eight planets in the five door planets of the solar system. We all revolve around the sun. We're the eight planets in the five door planets here to teach you about us. Sing along and have some fun. We're the eight planets in the five door planets of the solar system. We all revolve around the sun. We're the eight planets in the five door planets here to teach you about us sing along and have some fun there are eight planets
planets in the solar system we revolve around the sun join us to learn about the different planets now sing along and have some fun my name is mercury i'm the second hottest planet the closest one to the sun a year on my surface is 88 days I'm the smallest but I'm lots of fun My name is Venus I'm the hottest planet But the second planet from the sun I'm the brightest planet in our solar system And I'm too hot for anyone My name is Earth and I'm the planet you live on The third planet from the sun I'm the only planet with organic life So take care of me cause we're all one My name is Mars I am red in color I'm the fourth planet from the sun I have the highest mountain in our solar system A volcano named Olympus Mons there are eight planets in the solar system We revolve around the sun Join us to learn about the different planets Now sing along and have some fun My name is Jupiter I am covered in clouds I'm the fifth planet from the sun my giant red spot is a raging storm As for size, I'm the biggest one My name is Saturn I am brown in color I'm the sixth planet from the sun My outer rings are extremely thin They're made of dust and icy chunks My name's Uranus I am blue in color, I'm the seventh planet from the sun. Humans have named me the icy planet because I am the coldest one. My name is Neptune, I am blue in color, I'm the eighth planet from the sun. I have too many storms in my atmosphere and I'm the furthest planet from the sun. There are eight planets in the solar system We revolve around the sun Join us to learn about the different planets Now sing along and have some fun There are eight planets wait, in the solar wait, 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 system wait, wait, wait. You guys had your chance in the spotlight. It's time to talk about the dwarf planets in our solar system. Hit it, guys. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system and we revolve around the sun. Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets, we're the smallest ones My name is Ceres And I am a dwarf planet I'm the closest dwarf to the sun There's mysterious white spots on my rocky surface And I am the smallest one My name is Pluto I'm a dwarf planet and was the ninth planet from the sun. I am one third water in the form of ice and have five moons that are lots of fun. My name's Haumea. I am oval in shape due to the fast rotations that I make. I take 285 years to orbit the sun because I am so far away. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system And we revolve around the sun Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets, we're the smallest ones I'm Maki Maki I have no atmosphere I was discovered in 2005 I am one of the reasons Pluto lost his status So naturally we do not jive My name is Ares 
I'm more massive than Pluto, I am big but I'm lots of fun. 557 is the amount of years it takes me to revolve around the sun. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system, and we revolve around the sun. Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt, as far as planets we're the smallest ones. Hello, I'm Pluto, I used to be the ninth planet In the 
solar system planetary mix. But when Aries was discovered, it had 27% more mass. The IAU demoted me in 2006. I've since been a tour planet in your solar system and have five moons that orbit me so nice. I'm about to have a rocky core which is surrounded by a mantle of water ice. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets According to the IAU we're the only ones I'm Haumea I am a dwarf planet And was discovered in 2004 At the Palomar Observatory By astronomer Mike Brown And I have two moons Now here's some more My elongated shape is thought to be because the fast rotations that I make Located in the Kuiper Belt outside the orbit of Neptune And the third closest door to the sun for goodness sake I'm Maki Maki, the fourth dwarf planet from the sun Also located in the Kuiper Belt you see Discovered in 2005 by Mike Brown and his team at the Palomar Observatory. I have one provisional moon, its name is MK2. It's about 13,000 miles from me. I appear to be reddish brown in color, but I'm so far away that you can barely see. My name is Eries. I'm in the Kuiper Belt, I'm the fifth dwarf planet from the sun. I have one known moon, it's named Dysnomia, its orbit lasts about 16 days on its run. I'm the most massive, but the second largest dwarf planet after Pluto in the solar system. If you want to learn more about us individually, watch all of Kids Learning to Planet videos at once. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets, according to the IAU, we're the only ones. I'm a star called the sun I'm the center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around the galaxy All of the planets in our solar system They orbit while they follow me 230 million years is the time I take to fly around the Milky Way galaxy I don't have a solid surface so made up of gases held together by my own gravity I'm made of 92.1% hydrogen H2 and 7.8% helium HE I'm a star called the sun I'm the center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around the galaxy My core is 25% of my total mass And 27 million degrees my energy is the reason there is life on Earth There'll be no charge cause I'm totally free My mass makes up 99.8% of our solar system Nothing in our system's hot as me I'm a star called the sun I'm the center of our solar system
discovered by Scott Shepard at the CTIO on August 13th, 2021. In the country of Chile, you know, Scott Shepard discovered me using the Dark Energy Survey, or DES for short. In space, I'm on display. I was discovered at a parent magnitude 19 from the Earth. Let me explain just what that means. A parent magnitude is a measure of Subject. I'm here to prove this to you after my facts are checked. My perihelion is closer than Mercury at the closest orbit to the sun. My aphelion is farther than Venus when my orbit is farthest from the sun. I have the smallest semi-minor axis of fun and shortest orbital period among all asteroids as of 2021. I take 113 days to orbit the sun. That makes me the fastest orbiting asteroid and I'm not done. I'm expected to be larger than one kilometer in diameter next to Mercury's diameter of 4,800 kilometers. I'm smaller, professionally designated 2021 PH27 while orbiting the sun by the minor planet center on my run. None of this info would be possible without astronomers. Maybe you could study astronomy. It's out of this world, I'm sure. Subject. I'm here to prove this to you after my facts are checked. I am 2021 PH 27. I am currently the new closest object to the sun. I stole Mercury status of the sun's closest subject. I'm here to prove this to you after my facts are checked. I am the first planet from our sun, you see. My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me. The smallest planet with the second hottest degree. My name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me. Messenger of the gods is what Mercury means. The Romans gave me my name, cause I'm the fastest they'd seen. A bit bigger I be than the Earth's moon that you see To fill the Earth one time, it would take 18 of me I am the first planet from our sun that beams But I'm the second hottest, I can reach 800 degrees 88 Earth days is the amount that I take To orbit our sun once, that makes one year on me I am the first planet from our sun you see, my name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me. The smallest planet with the second hottest degree, my name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me. 59 Earth days equals one day on me, my surface is made of stone covered in craters you see. Oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium Make up my exosphere I have no moons and I have no rings But I'm the second densest planet amongst other things I am the first planet from our sun you see My name is Mercury, nothing orbits faster than me The smallest planet with the second hottest degree my name is Mercury, no one is smaller than me. I am Venus. I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun 240
43 Earth thesis How long it takes for me to orbit the sun That makes just one of my days I'm 900 degrees, yeah that's Fahrenheit I'm the hottest planet in the solar system That's right, the sun sets in my east And comes up in my west Due to retrograde rotation I spin backwards the best I'm the third brightest object to the naked eye From the planet of Earth when you look up in the sky I am Venus I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun Carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds Is what makes up my atmosphere And for this I am very proud Volcanoes, mountains, craters, and some big lava plains Are what make up my bumpy surface And my clouds make no rain I was named Venus after the goddess of love The Romans gave me my name due to my brightness above I am Venus I'm the second planet from the sun and I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun
It's a single planet, the planet orbits a star so bright. Scientific observations were first made in 1610 by Galileo Galilei, the astronomer Italian. On the moon, Earth's natural satellite. I rotate the same speed as the Earth, and I'm a natural source of light. On the moon, my appearance is gray and white. You only see one half of my surface, whether it's day or night. When the Earth spins on its axis, ocean levels stay the same. Then the moon's gravitational pull creates the tides that we see change. 238,900 miles from the Earth is the distance measured when the first spaceship landed on my turf. The reason you see one half of my surface all the time Is because my rotation's the same speed as the Earth thought in this rhyme It takes 27 Earth days for me to rotate once around There is no air on my surface so you won't hear any sound On the moon, Earth's natural satellite I rotate the same speed as the Earth and I'm a natural source of light On the moon my appearance is gray and white You only see one half of my surface Whether it's day or night Let's visit the planet of Mars There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars The red planet in a billion stars Come and sing along about the planet of Mars On the fourth planet from our burning sun And the second smallest planet in our solar system I have the tallest mountain named Olympus Mons It's the biggest volcano in our whole system Phobos and Demos are my two moons Phobos is larger of the orbiting two It circles me three times a day and that's true But it takes 30 hours for Demos to loop Let's visit the planet of Mars There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars The red planet in a billion stars Come and sing along about the planet of Mars I'm 142 million miles away From the sun and its heat and that's why I'm Chile When you're on my surface then you probably freeze I am a cold negative 81 degrees 24 hours and 37 minutes long It's a full day on Mars so you've learned this song 687 is the amount of days it takes to orbit the sun for my year to take place let's visit the planet of mars there is so much to learn on the planet of mars the red planet in a billion stars come and sing along about the planet of mars let's visit the planet of mars there is so much to learn on the planet of mars the red planet in a billion stars Come and sing along about the planet of Mars I am Ceres, the smallest dwarf planet The closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit Yeah, I am Ceres, I'm in the asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt I was spotted for the first time in 1801 By Giuseppe Piazzi, the Sicilian I was named after the goddess of agriculture The Romans gave me my name their time and culture. I am the smallest orbiting planet in our solar system. It takes 4.6 years for me to go around our sun. I am Ceres, the smallest dwarf planet, the closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit. Yeah, I am Ceres, I'm in the asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt NASA's exploring me with a space probe named Dawn And found a crater named Arcator that had bright spots on Nobody really knows why those spots are there, what they're from But with all the 
these scientists, I'm sure the answer will come. In 2006, my status changed to a dwarf. Before that, I was a planet and I was an asteroid. I am Ceres, the smallest dwarf planet. The closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit. Yeah, I am Ceres. I'm in the asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt My name is Four Vesta, the asteroid One of the largest asteroids in the asteroid belt Please enjoy the asteroid belt is located roughly between Mars and Jupiter. I'm the second largest asteroid on the scene. I was discovered by German astronomer Hendrik Olbers, and that is for sure. In the month of March in 1807, when looking to the brightest spots into the heavens, I was named Vesta after the Roman goddess of home and heart. It was easy and flawless I was named by the famous mathematician called Frederick Gauss He was such a vision I am one of the largest objects you should know In the asteroid belt is where I glow The asteroid belt is located roughly between the orbits of Jupiter and Mars That's where I'm seen This is the second largest known Destroyed by both mass and by volume, that's knowledge to enjoy. I'm the second largest two dwarf planet series, the closest dwarf to the sun in your solar system. See, my mean diameter is 525 kilometers or 326 miles if the metric system's unfamiliar. I'm the brightest asteroid that is visible from Earth, but not quite a dwarf. I guess I need some more girth. Their names are spelled Ceres, Vesta, Paulus, and Hygieia That's enough about me, yeah, I guess I will see ya My name is Four Vesta, the asteroid One of the largest asteroids in the asteroid belt Please enjoy The asteroid belt is located roughly between Mars and Jupiter I'm the second largest asteroid on the scene My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see No planet in our solar system is bigger than me My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be And I have 62 moons that rotate round me so free The Romans gave me my name after their king of the gods Because my size is so massive in the sea of the stars Callisto Europa got a meeting Short as they come, it takes 12 Earth years for me to orbit the sun. That makes one year on my surface. That's a really long run. My name is Jupiter, the biggest planet you see. No planet in our solar system is bigger than me. My name is Jupiter, a windy planet I be, and I have 62 moons that rotate round me so free. 89,000 miles. Is the amount that I'm wide I'm so big you could fit 1,000 Earths inside I've got a giant red spot It is a raging storm Scientists think 400 years ago Is when it took form Hydrogen and helium Make up most of my atmosphere 
largest satellite in the solar system seen. I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede. Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars. I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star. Let me introduce myself, I'm Ganymede. I orbit Jupiter, come and learn all about me. Out of all the known moons in the solar system I am the largest by far until a larger moon comes I was discovered by Galileo Galilei In the year of 1610 in January If I orbited the sun instead of Jupiter I'd be considered a planet by the IAU for sure I am larger than Pluto and our planet Mercury And I'm slightly smaller than Mars, as you can see I do have an iron rich liquid core I'm made of equal amounts of silicate rock and water There is more I have an eternal ocean that may contain much more Water than all Earth's oceans combined But no one knows for sure I'm the only moon known to have its own magnetic field I'm the ninth largest object in the solar system for real I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star My diameter is 3,273 miles I'm 26% larger than Mercury by volume with style It takes me roughly 7 days to orbit Jupiter at 665,000 miles, I assure I'm around the same age as my planet, Jupiter I'm 4.5 billion years old, I'm very mature Let's take a look inside and cut away my layers here Polar frost covers my surface, it did just appear Under my hexagonal ice, you'll find my saltwater ocean Then the tetragonal ice and rocky mantle within This is my iron and iron sulfate liquid core Followed by an iron core that's solid You want facts, here some more I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star I'm the largest satellite in the solar system seen I orbit Jupiter, my name is Ganymede Larger than Mercury, Pluto, and slightly smaller than Mars I'd be classified as a planet if I orbited our star I am sad. 
what you can clearly see About 84 Earth years makes just one Uranian year And my seasons last about 20 years each Negative 350 is my average degree And William Herschel did discover me I am Uranus and I have 13 rings now Come sing along and learn about me 2.9 billion miles is my distance from our sun And I am an icy giant, it's so cold on me My atmosphere is mostly made up of the following three Hydrogen, methane, and helium HE The tilt of my axis is at 98 degrees It's one of the steepest tilts in our galaxy Most of my mass is made To thank you for learning about the planets on this page Go subscribe to us please no matter what your age Some rocky chunks About 165 Earth years 
Just makes one Neptunian year 57.7 nerds could fit in my giant sphere 2.8 billion miles is my distance from our sun One day on me is about 16 Earth hours of cold fun No life as we know it could survive on me I'm the fourth largest planet in our system You'd have to agree My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks Observatory. 
laboratory in Arizona. I was named Pluto by an 11 year old girl named Venetia Bernie. Pluto was the Roman god of the underworld. Astronomers recently found him the biggest dwarf planet around. 736.3 is my radius and I'm brown. My name is Pluto, an ex planet of the solar system. I've been demoted to dwarf planet status, so please listen. Maybe the IAU will reverse my status to a planet. But for now, I'm happy being a dwarf planet, so there you have it. I'm 28,978 Xeon, provisional designation 2001 KX76. I'm a large trans-Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978 Xeon, I'm located in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think... They will melt The outer solar system is where you'll find me In the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune I can be seen I was discovered in May in the year of 2001 By the CTIO That's how this begun I was discovered by the Deep Ecliptic Survey A project to find Kuiper Belt objects It's still going on today James Elliott found me He was an American astronomer I'm classified as a Platino, that is for sure. I'm 28,978 Xeon, provisional designation 2001 KX76. I'm a large trans-Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978 Xeon, I'm located in the Kuiper Belt. A region of icy objects beyond Neptune I don't think they will melt I was named after Ixion from Greek mythology Ixion was the king of the Lepids, the most ancient tribe you see Though my name is 28,978 Ixion My provisional designation's 2001KX76, have fun 440 miles, that's my diameter in size I'm fourth largest Latino in the night sky My color is thought to be red And I may be covered in ice Hidden underneath my thick layer of organic and it compounds how nice. I'm 28,978 Xeon, provisional designation 2001 KX76. I'm a large trans Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978 Xeon, I'm located in the Kuiper Belt. Region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think they will melt. I'm 2002 MS4, a large classical Kuiper Belt object. Let me tell you more. I'm 2002. MS4 I belong to the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, I'm sure I'm 2002 MS4 A large classical Kuiper Belt object, let me tell you more I'm 2002 MS4 I belong to the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, I'm sure My name's 2002 MS4 I was discovered in 2002 by those who do explore I was discovered by two top astronomers At the Palomar Observatory when passing I was a blur Chad Trujillo and Michael Brown Were the legendary astronomers who did track me down in 2019, I was recorded for fun at 46.5 AU from your sun. I'll reach perihelion, which means I'm closest to your sun. In the year 2122, on my orbital run, I'm 2002 MS4. A large classical Kuiper Belt object, let me tell you more. I'm 2002 
MS4 I belong to the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, I'm sure My estimated size and diameter is around 800 km That's kilometers I'm thought to have a comparable size with Door Planet Ceres Make me the largest unnamed solar system object as of 2020 I'm one of the 10 largest trans-Neptunian objects currently known And large enough to be considered a door planet as shown I currently do not have any no moons orbiting me So an estimate of my mass cannot be made, you see An observation in 2019 suggests I may be oblate in shape Along a diameter on me I'm 2002 MS4 a large classical Kuiper Belt object, let me tell you more I'm 2002 MS4 I belong to the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, I'm sure I'm 2002 MS4 A large classical Kuiper Belt object, let me tell you more I'm 2002 MS4 I belong to the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, I'm sure 120,347 salatia I'm a trans-Neptunian object, it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me I was discovered on September 22nd, 2004 By American astronomers, there were three for sure Their names are Henry Rowe, Michael Brown, and Christina Barcoon While working at the Palomar Observatory this is true My provisional designation's 2004 SB60 I'm a trans-Neptunian object as you can see I'm located within the Kuiper Belt in the outer solar system 850 kilometers in diameter I'm spun 120,347 salatia I'm a trans-Neptunian object It's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SB60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me Located 44.8 astronomical units from the sun I've been observed 124 times with recovery images on my run My orbital distance is slightly greater than Pluto I orbit 272 years of this I will show I was named after the Roman goddess Latia You have learned My radius is 281 miles as I turn I have a single known moon named Actea here Its diameter is 190 miles as it appears Actea is one third of the diameter of me you see Michael Brown thinks I'm a dwarf planet but it's debated theory 120,347 salatia I'm a trans-Neptunian object it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me 120,347 salatia I'm a trans-Neptunian object it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me I'm 20,000 Varuna, I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna, you can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach and report My name is 20,000 Varuna, I'm sure your eyes are transfixed My provisional designation's 2000 WR106 I was discovered in December in the year of 2000 By American astronomer Robert S. McMillan During a space watch at KPNO I have an elongated shape Due to my rapid rotation as shown I was named after the Hindu deity Varuna is my name Please say it back to me I'm 20,000 Varuna I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna You can call me Varuna for short 
I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach and report. I'm a possible dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt. In the outer solar system is where my presence is felt. Info from my light curve says I'm a Jacoby ellipsoid. My elongated shape's due to my rapid rotation among the asteroids. My rapid rotation period is 6.34 hours. January 2001 is when it was first measured. The color of my surface is moderately red due to the complex organic compounds astronomers said water ice is thought to be present on my surface because of past collisions i was exposed now you're learning this no natural satellites have been recorded around me yet but in 2019 i may have a satellite astronomer suggest i'm 20,000 varuna i'm here to teach you correct i was classified as a transneptunian object i'm 20,000 varuna you can call me varuna for short i am oval in shape and i'm here to teach and report my name's Amaya. I'm spun. My name's Almeida. There is Dipe on who discovered me. It was either Caltech or a Spanish observatory. My first nickname was Santa before the IAU named me. In 2008, they changed me to Dwarf status officially. Yeah, I am mobile. It's because I rotate at a high speed. One of our system's fastest rotating large objects I be. My I'm spun. I have two moons, Hayaka and Namaka, orbiting me. Namaka is the smaller, Hayaka is large and icy. 3.9 hours makes just one day on my rocky surface. I take 285 Earth years to make one orbit. My surface is believed to have a thin but icy coating. Yeah, I'm unique to other door planets I am gloating. I'm Namaka. I'm spun I am Quar and I'm a dwarf planet candidate in the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quora, there is so much to learn about me. As we adventure on our space journey on a sea Now was discovered on June 4th in 2002 By astronomers Chad Trio and Michael Brown to name the two The Samuel Ocean Telescope did discover me In California at the Palomar Observatory Named after an important figure in mythology Of mission Indians in southern coast of California Sea Before my name was approved It's true, my name in full is 50,000 Quora And I'm roughly half the size of Earth or planet Pluto by far I am Quora, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate In the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit My name is Quora, there is so much to learn about me As we adventure on our space journey on a sea My orbit around the sun is nearly circular, you know About 280 this is one year on my surface though Astronomers think my color's moderately red And that I'm 1250 kilometers in diameter They had said I'm about 6 billion kilometers from Earth It would take 100,000 years to walk to me for what it is worth Scientists were shocked to find signs of crystalline ice And ammonia hydrate on my surface isn't that nice I am Quar And I'm a dwarf planet candidate of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quora, there is so much to learn about me. 
As we adventure on our space journey on a sea I have one known satellite, its name is way way February 22nd, 2007's when you learned of it Michael Lee Brown did discover my moon From images taken in February 2006, that is true Wayward size is about 74 kilometers That's an estimated size of my satellite's diameter There's more trans Neptunian objects to be found Maybe you could be the next astronomer to break the ground I am Qualar, and I'm a dwarf planet candidate In the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit My name is Quora, there is so much to learn about me as we adventure on our space journey on a sea A Maki Maki, I was named by the human race I'm the third largest dwarf planet in outer space And my color is red and I have no atmosphere Have you noticed my shape? I am a perfect sphere Maki Maki, I have an official new moon 
Newton, let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Mikey Mikey. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. A Mikey Mikey, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Mikey Mikey. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. My name is 22508A Gong Gong, a potential tour planet as you'll learn in this song. Originally named 2007OR10, that's my provisional designation, let's move on with this lesson. Discovered in 2007 with the technology in California at the Palomar Observatory. Megan Schwamm, David Rabinowitz, and Michael Brown. They are American astronomers and how I was found. I'm approximately the size of Pluto's moon named Sharon and fifth largest trans-Neptunian object in the solar system. I'm a member of the scattered disk beyond Neptune. I'm not a dwarf planet of the solar system, but hope to be soon. I have a natural satellite, it's called a moon. It goes by the name of Shang Lu. I'm unofficially named after the Chinese water god. Gong Gong is its name, part of the Trans-Neptunian squad. You can't see me with the naked eye in the distance, I'm spun. Because I'm 9.4 billion miles away from your sun. I am 1230 kilometers in diameter or 760 miles when I'm converted I'm sure My color is a deep red on my surface as seen likely due to the presence of a compound called tholines Water ice is also present on my surface Thank you for joining me and learning about this My name is 22508 Gong Gong, a potential tour planet as you'll learn in this song. Originally named 2007 OR10, that's my provisional designation, let's move on with this lesson. My name is 22508 Gong Gong, a potential tour planet as you'll learn in this song. Originally named 2007 OR10, that's my provisional designation, let's move on with this lesson. My name is Eries, I am a dwarf planet, the furthest dwarf from the sun the humans found yet, on January 5th in 2005, the Caltech Observatory a team led by astronomer Michael Brown The biggest dwarf in mass is what they had found They believe my surface is covered in nitrogen ice But you'd have to visit me to make sure that's precise In 2006 the IAU named me And gave me dwarf status, yeah, officially My name is Eries, I am a dwarf planet the sun the humans found yet Minus 390 is my average degree If you made it to my surface then you'd probably freeze This know me is my one natural satellite See, It means lawlessness and it is always orbiting me I'm 27% more massive than your Pluto Yeah Pluto is slightly larger than I am you know I take 500 
I am 2014 UC224. I'm the new door planet candidate. Let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest door in our solar system. Listen carefully, more information is sure to come. Dated on August 19th in 2014, David Gertz and his student team did discover me. David Gertz led a team from the University of Michigan. Scope with no intent. Cerro Tololo Inter-American Observatory is located in the Andes in the country of Chile. That's where the Blanco Telescope is housed so it can see using the dark energy camera they attached to discover me. The dark energy camera was built to make a map of distant galaxies in the universe. Now how about that? The team led by David Gertz that had discovered me noticed a small dot moving through space and found it wasn't debris. Way out in the Kuiper Belt is where I was found, you know. I'll tell you more about me first, let's sing the chorus though. I am 2014, UC224. I'm a new door planet candidate, let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest door in our solar system. Listen carefully, more information is sure to come. I'll be the smallest door planet in our solar system seen. I'm 330 miles wide, even smaller than Ceres. The second farthest body from our sun with a stable orbit. And I'm 8.5 billion miles from the sun I'd met. I take 1100 Earth years to orbit the sun. That's a mighty long year on my surface while I'm being spun. The IAUMPC announced to the public I'm here on October. IAU Minor Planet Center will classify me After that I will be back to brag about it officially There's a lot of possible dwarf planets in our solar system There may even be another planet to discover it may come I am 2014, UC224 I'm a new dwarf planet candidate, let me tell you some more I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system Listen carefully, more information is sure to come. I am 2014, UC224. I'm a new door planet candidate, let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest door in our solar system. Listen carefully, more information is sure to come. I'm nicknamed Far Far. I'm the furthest away in your solar system observed so far today 2018 AG37 is my name a trans-Neptunian object with a newfound fame my first image was taken in January of 2018 here's more about me I'm a trans-Neptunian object and I'm currently object in the solar system anyone seen I was discovered by astronomer Scott Shepard and David Bolin and Chad Trujillo at the Mauna Kea observatories on the big island named Hawaii so you know the 8.2 meter Subaru telescope to discover Scanning in the solar system for planet 9 I was discovered by accident But what a find Astronomers found me 140 AU That's astronomical units from the sun is true That's 140 times the distance from Earth to the sun I am extremely far from you That fact is fun To put this in perspective I'm currently farther than any observable object known In the solar system, yeah, that's no stone's throw At a very faint apparent magnitude of 25 Only the largest telescope in the world can observe me, that's no jive My brightness suggests I'm roughly 250 miles wide But I'm barely big enough to qualify as a dwarf planet 
size My size estimate assumes my world's largely made of ice That assumption could change with more observations I advise I'm nicknamed far far out because I'm the furthest away In your solar system observed so far today 2018 AG 37 is my name A trans-Neptunian object with a newfound fame I'm nicknamed far far out because I'm the furthest away In your solar system observed so far today 2018 AG 37 is my name A trans-Neptunian object with a newfound fame My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit On November 14th in 2003 The Palomar Observatory is who discovered me the names of astronomers are Michael Brown, Chad Trujillo, and Dave Rabinowitz are how I was found. My name Sedna means Inuit goddess of the sea, which derived from a young arctic woman's grim Eskimo story. I'm a large minor planet, that is what I will be, until I meet the criteria for dwarf status, you see. My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate, I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. My distance from the sun in my furthest orbit is about 84 billion miles, I barely see it. If you saw the sun from that distance you wouldn't squint, it would be so small it could be blocked with the head of a pin. I'm the second reddest object in our solar system, the first reddest is Mars, yeah I am second to him. I am three fourths the size of our dwarf planet Pluto, and I'm believed to live in the inner or cloud you know. My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate, I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. The time I'm thought to take to orbit our sun once is 10,500 Earth years, yeah that is a long run. It's predicted the last time I was closest to our sun, Earth was coming out of its last ice age, now that isn't fun. I live in the coldest known region of our solar system, it's minus 240 degrees Celsius where I'm from. My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate, I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate, I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. Provisional designations 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin now. Let's begin. An extreme trans Neptunian object in a sedoid in the outer solar system is what I am. I can't avoid. I was nicknamed the Goblin because of the TG in my name and because I was discovered near Halloween in 2015. October 2015 was when I was discovered. By astronomers at the MKO is how I was uncovered My discovery was made by Chad Trujillo David Tholin and Scott Shepard, you know I was discovered using the Subaru telescope They also probed with the Blanco 4M telescope Looking out from the globe 541,132 Lalia Kuanua is my official name I have trouble saying it too I never come within 80 astronomical units to the sun And I get as far as 2300 AU from the sun On my run you think a year on Earth 
is long, well mine is longer, I admit 35,760 is one year in my orbit. I have a very elongated orbit, along with Sedna on my trek. Astronomers believe this orbit exists because of hypothetical planet X. I never come near the major outer planets, astronomers have checked. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua, that's my name, it is true. My provisional designation's 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin, now let's begin. There's probably 10,000 small dwarf-like planets in our outer solar system beyond Pluto. Now isn't that fun? These dwarf-like planets are very small that makes them hard to uncover. With technology improving, you could be the one to discover. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua, that's my name, it is true. My provisional designation's 2015 TG3. I'm nicknamed the Goblin, now let's begin! Do you want a free monthly bonus video? Go download the Kids Learning Tube app on iOS and Android to watch the weekly video and bonus video for free today! Please leave us a 5 star review to show your support for Kids Learning Tube. Kids Learning Tube! I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun, when I'm discovered, I'll make headlines. I have yet to be discovered, astronomers search for me. That's the reason I'm a hypothetical planet, you see. Astronomers think I am in the outer solar system. I spin beyond Neptune's orbit. That orbit. They think on average I orbit the sun 250 times that of the earth But no one knows until me they find Constantine, Batygin, and Michael E. Brown Think I could be the core of a giant planet that used to be around They think my original orbit used to be by Jupiter During the genesis of the solar system then ejected they sure As of May 2020 there's no observation of planet 9 But they have not ruled they might find me in time Why field infrared survey explorer survey space Looking for me in the outer solar system But still haven't found a trace I'm a hypothetical planet They call me Planet Nine In the outer solar system You may notice me in time I'm a hypothetical planet They call me Planet Nine I orbit your sun When I'm discovered I'll make headlines My semi-major axis is four to eight hundred astronomical units in this lesson I teach you. My Earth mass is thought to be between 5 to 10. 15 to 25 degrees is my orbital inclination. After the discovery of Neptune in 1846, there's been speculation of another planet that might exist. Maybe you'll become an astronomer and be the first to discover me. But until then, I'll be hypothetical planet, you see. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun, when I'm discovered, I'll make headlines. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. In the outer solar system, you may notice me in time. I'm a hypothetical planet, they call me Planet Nine. I orbit your sun, when I'm discovered, I'll make headlines. I am Bernardinelli, Bernstein, a large or cloud comet, also called C slash 2014 UN271 as of yet. I'm on my way to orbit your sun on my orbital run. Let's learn when and where I will appear in my perihelion. The first image.
image of me was discovered in October of 2014. I was 29 AU or 4.3 billion kilometers from the sun. I was barely seen. That's about as far as Neptune's orbit. The furthest a comet has been discovered. That's where my presence was uncovered. Discovered by astronomers Pedro Bernardinelli and Gary Bernstein. With the Dark Energy Survey, or DES, they had found me in archival images from the DES at the CTI Observatory, which is located in the Coquimbo region in the country of Chile. I'm the largest or cloud comet, the biggest you humans ever saw. I'm estimated between 63 and 93 miles across unless I thaw. What is this or cloud anyway surrounding your sun? It's a spherical layer of icy objects outside the orbit of Neptune's run. During 2021, I will approach your solar system sun. At a distance of 19.5 or 20.8 AU On my run Let's take a look at the images here To see my orbit around the sun My perihelion and aphelion Are explained to you just for fun Perihelion means my closest approach to your sun As you see here and Ophelion is my furthest orbit from your sun that had just appeared. My closest approach to Earth will be made in 2031, which is just outside of Saturn's orbit. That's my perihelion. My orbital period is about 4.5 million years. My Ophelion distance is about 54,000 AU, so I hear I am sad to say that I won't enter your inner solar system I may be wide, but you won't see me with your naked eye, and that's no fun I am five and a half times as long as Olympus months the solar system's tallest mountain found on Mars You've learned this in this song I am classified as a comet But what exactly is that? I'm a cosmic snowball of rock dust And different types of frozen gas I am Bernardinelli, Bernstein A large or cloud comet also called C slash 2014 UN271 as of yet I'm on my way to orbit your sun On my orbital run Let's learn when and where I will appear in my perihelion There are four seasons on the earth Here is how they work Come and sing along Winter, spring, summer, and fall Learn about them all In this catchy song I'm the earth I spin on my axis One complete time In 24 hours That's one full day of the year I am tilted at a degree between 22.1 and 24.5 within 40,000 years. 365 is the amount of days I take to orbit the sun only one time, which makes one full Earth year. There are four seasons on the earth Here is how they work Come and sing along Winter, spring, summer, and fall Learn about them all In this catchy song When I'm tilted towards the sun The northern hemisphere Is deep in summer While the southern hemisphere Winter is on When I'm cornered the north feels fall For the south is thawing And their spring is in full swing When I'm halfway around And the north feels winter While the southern hemisphere Feels summer's heat Three quarters around Now the north feels spring While the 
Sophia's fall And that's how the seasons change There are four seasons on the earth Here is how they work Come and sing along Winter, spring, summer, and fall Learn about them all In this sketchy song I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me The Milky Way name came from a Greek goddess named Hera Who spilled milk across the sky Greeks believed in that era When you look at the darkest sky on a clear summer night And you see the image of the Milky Way clear in sight Remember you can only see a small part of me Called the galactic core in my galaxy Astronomers can look at me from outside the galaxy Because I'm so massive and you don't have the technology Based on other galaxies we see outside of our own Is why we conclude that our galaxy spiraled as I'm shown When you look at a side view of the Milky Way here you see me as a flat disc with a bulge center I appear I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me I was born about 13.6 billion years ago That's a hypothesis given from astronomers though I am 100,000 light years in diameter That's an estimate given by NASA though they can't be sure Your solar system's this tiny dot that you see right here Astronomers think that Orion's first where your system appears Your system's guessed to be 20 5,000 light years from the galactic center of the Milky Way shown here About 230 million years is what your system takes To orbit around the Milky Way center's cool shape 200 to 400 billion stars live in me That's an estimate only based on our astronomy Over 100 billion planets might exist in me Maybe someday you can see them in our galaxy I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me Let's take a look at all the parts that you think I'm made of We'll start by looking down at the galaxy above The galactic core's the rotational center you can see Because of the interstellar dust it cannot be studied It's believed the center is a supermassive black hole When astronomers find out more then I will let you know You'll notice the galactic bar and also the long bar There's the 3 kpc arms there is a near and there's a far Then we have the Sagittarius and the Norma arms Then the Orion Spur where your solar system spins on The Scutum Centaurus and Perseus arm Our two major spirals and full of the galaxy's charm Finally the outer arm and the new outer arm Are the final spirals I will mention in this song I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed So scientists would say This interstellar journey will show you The role gravity had played Almost five billion years ago There was only our sun Which was a newborn star Surrounded by dust was how it begun Over time this dust began to slam Into one another due to gravity 
gravity pulling it in as it smashed into each other. The planet that we live on was made by space dust and rocks that formed Earth over millions of years into an orb, not a box. They say four and a half billion years ago, Earth was a fireball. That's right, with surface temperatures over 2,000 degrees and Fahrenheit. At this point, there was no air, just carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water vapor making it hot and toxic when the Earth began. Our boiling ball of liquid rock was slammed by a young planet. This planet's name was Thea. It was the size of Mars as you see it. The blast wave from this collision sent trillions of tons of debris, which over time was pulled back in to circle the Earth by gravity. This giant ring around the Earth was made of red hot dust and rock. Eventually formed our moon. We see today, I know it's a shock. Let's speed up millions of years to see how water formed. About 3.9 billion years ago, Earth was hit by a meteor storm. Inside each meteor, scientists think there were small crystals. Each crystal held tiny droplets of water inside their shells. Over the 20 million years that these meteors fell Pools of water started to form on the cooling crust I do tell and All water on our earth is billions of years old now you see And may have traveled millions of miles to be consumed by you and me Let's meet up hundreds of millions of years to find the earth covered in water With tiny islands peeking out while the core remain much hotter This hot core pushes molten rock up and out new crust when the lava cools it forms the land we know as it builds and thrusts over time these land masses start to collide and eventually form our continents we know today do still transform here's a theory of how the earth was formed so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played how did earth get its atmosphere we have today there are three basic atmospheric hypothesis still used to this day. The first atmosphere was made up of hydrogen and helium gas. These molecules move so fast they escape first gravity into space at last. The second was made of lots of volcanoes releasing water as steam and carbon dioxide, hydrogen, sulfate, ammonia, and methane science agreed. The third and current atmosphere is made up of this. You will see plants take in carbon dioxide and give up oxygen to you. Take in oxygen and give off CO2 Also volcanoes and burning stuff Produces this like fossil fuels We burn too many fossil fuels And have too many factory farms All this carbon dioxide we produce Is doing our earth harm It's up to us to change the way we consume And create energy If you start to make changes Now our planet will change You will see Please do your part to save the earth To improve your future now we're capable of change, go make us all proud Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed So scientists would say this interstellar journey Will show you the role gravity had played You're so smart and important, so believe in what you can do Make a change and set the stage in Earth's future for you Did you know? The place you call home is a habitable place in space called the Goldilocks Zone. It's a place in space, a certain distance from our star, where liquid water could be found. Guess what? It's where you are. Goldilocks Zone is a habitable zone In an area around a star you know The zone is not too hot And it's not too cold For liquid water to exist so life can grow There is only one planet we know so far That is teeming with life, of course That planet that we're sure can sustain real life Has a well-known name it is the Earth If the Earth were to move as far as Pluto The sun would be the size of a pea The oceans and atmosphere on Earth Would immediately freeze But if Earth moved to the position of planet Mercury the Earth's water would quickly boil away There would be no more life, you 
see. The Goldilocks Zone is a habitable place where Earth sits from the sun, allowing water to stay liquid. Liquid water is the source of life. That's how life on Earth begun. Stars come in different sizes, masses, and temperatures throughout space. Size and temperature of a star determines the Goldilocks Zone's place. Stars that are smaller and much cooler than the sun have a habitable zone much closer to their star on its run. Stars that are hotter, much larger, and more massive than the sun have their habitable zone much farther. This concludes our fun. Did you know? The place you call home is a habitable place in space called the Goldilocks Zone. It's a place in space, a certain distance from our star, where liquid water could be found. Guess what? It's where you are. Earth has four major geological subsystems I will teach you in this song I hope you learn and listen Geosphere, atmosphere, hydrosphere and biosphere Are four major systems on Earth that balance Why we survive here These systems are all separate but interact with one another In so many different ways in each system you will discover Let's start with geosphere, all Earth's material Comprised of all these parts that you'll be learning in my class The solid iron in our core is a bit smaller than the moon The nickel iron alloy on our core is liquid, it is true The mantle is a layer between the crust and on our core Mostly made of minerals and silicate rock Let's learn some more Which brings us to the crust in which we all play and live on Made up of rock and lots of elements that keep four major geological subsystems I will teach you in this song I hope you learn and listen The atmosphere's the next sphere that we will look at It contains Earth's air and protects all of us Now how about that? The atmosphere's made up of five layers Now you know one layer blocks radiation from the sun It's called the ozone Let's move on to the hydrosphere It's a major one Lakes and rivers and our water vapor too Are what make up the hydrosphere You learn something new The biosphere's the final of the four major groups Including anything that's living that also includes you Microbes, animals, plants, birds and insects alike Are all part of the biosphere That's true and it is alright Earth has four major geological subsystems I will When volcanoes erupt from the geosphere It releases particles and ash into the atmosphere These particles act as the nuclei to help form water drops That's the hydrosphere at work and it never stops When the rain falls to the earth this is the hydrosphere Which stimulates plants to grow which is the biosphere The plants create oxygen There's so many more examples you can find on your own You can research them on your computer while sitting at home Earth has four major geological subsystems I will teach you in this song, I hope you learn and listen Earth has four major geological subsystems I will teach you in this song, I hope you learn and listen
topics course. On to the most common type called the stellar black hole. But let's first see why a star exists before it loses control. The pressure from nuclear fuel in the core pushes outward so greatly, while a force of equal power pushing in is caused by gravity. This equal pressure does create the star's main sequence stage. This means the star is stable in its present burning age. When stars with your sun's mass run out of nuclear fuel, Starts with 25 times the mass of your solar system sun Runs out of nuclear fuel, its gravity crushes the core and it becomes A stellar black hole, it's the most common type in the universe After the core is, I'll tell you how I'm created, of course I'm a supermassive black hole Found in the center of almost all massive galaxies I'm a supermassive black hole There are theories of how I'm formed Join me and see I'm a super massive black hole The third type of black hole seen Believed to be found in the center Of any major galaxy A black hole's a region of space Where force of gravity is so strong That nothing, not even light can escape You've learned this in this song How I acquired my mass Is still yet to be determined And astronomers are still working On how I'm formed, that's certain Some think I'm formed from the collapse Of massive clouds of gas of galaxies with mass My parts start with the accretion disk orbiting around me It's superheated gas and dust swirling around the singularity The singularity is the very center of a black hole you see Made up of matter collapsed into a region of infinite density The event horizons the radius around a singularity Where energy and matter cannot escape the black hole's gravity The innermost stable orbits the last place material orbits Sphere's a location where gravity is so strong That light can travel in circles And orbiting the black hole are photons I feed on stars, dust, or gas And produce jets of near light speed Blasting particles of radiation Up from my poles as you can see These are relativistic jets And my last part I'll talk about Now it's time to sing with me Do it loud without any doubt I'm a supermassive black hole Found in the center of almost all I'm a supermassive black hole There are theories of how I'm born Come and join me and see Here's the difference between These space rocks that you will see Asteroid, meteoroid, and comets And some wood stages between These different celestial bodies Are important to learn We're all part of this universe Let's give these space rocks their turn I'm an asteroid also called a minor planet To some a rocky airless remnant Left over from our solar system's formation You can find a lot of asteroids orbiting our sun Between Mars and Jupiter Within the asteroid belt I run I can range in size From about 329 miles Down to 33 feet small I've been here for a while I'm made up of different kinds of rocks And some have clays and metals Such as nickel and iron Found in frying pans or kettles Here's the difference between These space rocks that you will see Asteroid, meteoroid, and comets And some wood stages between These different celestial bodies Are important to learn We're all part of this universe Let's give these space rocks their turn I'm a meteoroid I'm smaller than an asteroid you see my size can range from a grain of dust to a small asteroid, yeah that is me I orbit the sun, I'm made of minerals called silicates Which is silicone and oxygen, I'm glad that you're learning this I'm also made of heavier metals like nickel and iron Let's go explore a little more about what other names I can become If I enter Earth's atmosphere, you'll see a bright tail of light If this happens and I vaporize, I'm called a meteor, that's right Some call me a shooting or falling star I'm only called a meteor if I burn up completely 
it's bizarre But if I make it through the atmosphere and reach the Earth's surface My name changes to meteorite That is important to learn this I'm a comet, which is dust mixed with frozen gas When fully frozen, I'm about the size of a small town through space I do pass I'm made of ices like water, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and methane Mixed with cosmic dust from our solar system when it begins when I get close to the sun, I heat up and speed dust and gas This forms a glowing tail that stretches away from the sun As I pass a cloud forms around my nucleus from my vaporizing ice This is called a coma, it can expand 50,000 miles and it looks nice My tail that form can expand past 600,000 miles Thank you for learning about all of us, I hope we made you smile Here's the difference between these space rocks that you will see Astro Meteoroid and comets and some wood stages between These different celestial bodies are important to learn We're all part of this universe Let's give these space rocks their turn We are the Earth and the Moon solar system between us this is true we are the earth and the moon we meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us we will explain to you with a smile the average distance between the earth and the moon is 382,500 kilometers Here's the other seven planets fit between us explaining who they are with some cool features. I am Mercury, the first planet from the sun. I'm the second hottest planet on my run. My average diameter we do know is 4,879 kilometers. Add these up as they are shown. I am Venus, the hottest planet and the second from the sun I have an average diameter of 12,104 kilometers in the solar system Hi, I am Mars, the fourth planet from the sun You should know I have an average diameter of 6,771 kilometers as I did show My name is Jupiter, the largest planet I'm number five. My average diameter is 139,822 kilometers as I thrive. I'm the planet with the prominent rings, the sixth one called Saturn. My average diameter is 116,464 kilometers while I turn. I am Uranus. I am the seventh planet from the solar system's sun. I have an average diameter of 50,724 kilometers. I'm a frozen one. I am Neptune, the eighth and last planet in the solar system, as far as we know. I have an average diameter of 49,244 kilometers, I'm blue as shown. Our total planet diameter size when added up is 380,008 kilometers we share. We still have 2,492 kilometers of space to spare. We are the Earth and the Moon. solar system between us this is true we are the earth and the moon we meant to tell you for a while the average distance between us we will explain to you with a smile 
This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe. A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth. The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages in the evolution of a star and all its basic changes. I'm a molecular cloud. I'm a type of nebula. I have a high density and a very low temperature. This combination creates a gas molecular hydrogen. That's primarily what I'm making along with cosmic dust within. When the force of gravity exceeds the outward push of gas, the pressure is so great that I can't help it and start to collapse, which is caused from a shockwave from a near exploding star. Or when two molecular clouds collide, now isn't that bizarre? When the gravity's too strong, I break apart into smaller clouds. Each cloud is a star's beginning in which I am very proud. For the stars are the name of the clouds that do break free. Let me introduce a protostar that was a part of me Hello there, I'm the beginning of any kind of star Let me introduce myself to you, I am a protostar My core is not hot enough for fusion to occur To achieve that level of stardom, that process is a chore The first thing I do when I break free from my molecular cloud I start to spin until I form this disc around me you see now As the disc rotates I produce a strong magnetic field Pulling gas and dust into my center core as I reveal The infalling gas releases a kinetic energy Creating heat increasing the temperature in the center of me At this point I can transform into a hydrogen burning star Which is when the new Fusion starts in a protostar This is when I cross over to stage 3 called Titori We play our different roles in the star formation you see This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages In the evolution of a star and all its basic changes I'm a Titori star now, also a pre-made sequence Star. My job's to clear away the dust and gas and send it really far My stellar winds create bipolar outflows that decrease my mass Till I'm a main sequence star, my center burning nuclear gas Now I'm a main sequence star, now just like the sun you know For billions of years I will burn throughout my light show Converting hydrogen to helium is how fusion exists It wants to blow me apart but has a hard time doing this Cause of gravity of equal power pushing me in I'm able to stay burning since the fusion did begin There are many different kinds of stars throughout the universe Go learn about them all now that you know how they are birthed This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages In the evolution of a star and all its basic this is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages In the evolution of a star and all its basic changes A blue white super giant star in the Orion constellation. I am the brightest so far. William Herschel studied astronomy. In the year of 1781, he discovered me. I have an estimated age of seven to nine. Million years, as for an estimate, that's fine. I've exhausted my core of hydrogen fuel, becoming a super giant after I expanded and I cool. I expect to end my life as a type 2 supernova. Here is more, leaving a neutron star or black hole, but no one knows for sure. I'm classified as a blue white super giant star, how fun! Which is a hot luminous star that's bigger than your sun. I belong to the Orion constellation, locate me from.
from the celestial equator from Earth on my run. I am visible throughout the world, of this I am sure, located in the hunter's leg of Orion, I assure. From the Earth my distance is 860 light years to be clear. One light year is the distance light travels in one Earth year. 61,500 to 363,000 times as luminous as the sun, my brightness is so grand. But I'll vary slightly in brightness until the day I'm done. I'm thought to be 18 to 24 times more massive than your sun. My radius is a straight line from my center to my circumference, which is more than 70 times that of your sun in reference. My surface temperature is 12,100 kK, meaning Kelvin, a base unit of temperature in the SI, I say. The next time you're out at night, look for Orion in the sky, look for the hunter's leg, I'm bright to the naked eye. My name is Rigel. A blue-white supergiant star In the Orion constellation I am the brightest so far My name is Rigel A blue-white supergiant star In the Orion constellation I am the brightest so far I am Beetlejuice, I'm nearing the end of my life One of the top ten brightest stars up in the night sky I am a red supergiant expected to explode into a supernova in a hundred thousand years or so I received the name Beetlejuice in 1836 by Sir John Herschel an astronomer and a great scientist I'm the second brightest star in the Orion constellation after the star Rigel we're seen from any of Earth's nations my diameter is about 700 times that of your sun and I'm 640 light years from the Earth that's quite a run but my surface temperature 6,000 degrees in Fahrenheit Cooler than your sun surface 10,000 degrees, yeah that's right I'm so massive if you replaced your sun with me I'd reach past the orbit of Jupiter I'm gigantic, you see I'm considered a young star at just 10 million years old Soon to explode into a supernova Scientists say so I am Betelgeuse, I'm nearing the end of my life One of the top 10 brightest stars up in the night sky I am a red supergiant expected to explode into a supernova in a hundred thousand years or so. A red supergiant is an aging giant star that has consumed its course supply of hydrogen fuel, that's what they are. Helium has accumulated in my core so well, and hydrogen's undergoing nuclear fusion in my outer shells. When my outer shells expand, I take on a red color because I'm cooler than I was. Was I'm happy to discover Red supergiants are the largest known stars in the universe And I'm expected to supernova onto the next verse During fusion heavier atoms are created Until my core is iron That's when I'll run out of fuel without even trying When that happens to a star as massive as me The entire star collapses and explodes as a supernova you see When I do supernova I'll create quite a sight some predict I'll even look like your full moon's brightest light The radiation I'd put off from becoming a supernova Wouldn't affect Earth because I'm 640 light years over I am Betelgeuse, I'm nearing the end of my life One of the top 10 brightest stars up in the night sky I am a red supergiant expected to explode Into a supernova in a hundred thousand years or so I am the Y Canis Majoris, one of the largest stars known in the present universe. I am the Y Canis Majoris, my home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course. I'm believed to be discovered in 1801, when French astronomer Jerome Lalande locked me in my recordings begun. A red class M hypergiant's what I'm classified as. Stars show tremendous luminosities and have very high rates of mass loss by stellar winds. You see
see My distance from the Earth is about 4,000 light years away One light year equals about 5.9 trillion miles, I'd say I used to be the largest star in the universe, you see Until some hypergiants like you, Ice Katai, dwarfed me I am the Y Canis Majoris One of the largest stars known in the present universe I am the Y Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course If you wanna locate me while looking up in the night sky You'd have to use the telescope, you can't see me with the naked eye If you have a telescope, point to the constellation of Canis Major And look to the left to the Delta Star for a fixation 990 million kilometers is my radius Aren't you glad you are paying attention and learning all of this? 5,822 degrees in Fahrenheit is what my temperature is thought to be I'm hot and extremely bright If I replace the sun in your present solar system I would consume all planets past Jupiter like they were crumbs I am the Y Canis Majoris one of the largest stars known in the present universe I am the Y Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course Massive stars like me, we live a very, very short life I'm reaching the end of my existence, which is part of my strife I rapidly shed mass because I'm running out of fuel in my course Scientists think I'll explode into a supernova, but no one Sure. I am the Y Canis Majoris One of the largest stars known in the present universe I am the Y Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course I am the Y Canis Majoris One of the largest stars known in the present universe I am the Y Canis Majoris My home's a Milky Way galaxy, this is an interstellar course I am UI Scutai The largest star in our galaxy, find me in the night sky I am UI Scutai a red supergiant in the Scutum constellation am I? I was first cataloged in 1860 by German astronomers at Bonn Observatory. I was named BD-125055 until my second survey I was found to be slightly more bright. That's when I was named UI Scutai, the 38th variable star of Constellation Scutum am I I'm the largest known star in the Milky Way galaxy But because I'm so far from Earth You need a telescope to see me I'm 30 times the sun's mass But I have a radius more than 1700 times greater than the Earth's sun I span I am UI Scutai The largest star in our galaxy Find me in the night sky I am UI Scutai a red supergiant in the Scutum constellation am I I'm 9500 light years away from your earth One light year equals about 5.88 trillion miles for what that's worth I'm known to be one of the most luminous stars And I am a red supergiant, I hope you like me so far I'm close to the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A, galactic Center, which is the center of our galaxy I'm so large if you replaced your sun with me My photosphere would span past Jupiter's orbit as you can see I began to fuse helium and continue to fuse hydrogen In the shell around my core based on models of stellar evolution After fusing heavy elements my core will begin to produce iron Disrupting the balance of gravity and radiation in its core in Resulting in a core collapse supernova Which is expected in stars like me Look for me in the night sky within your galaxy I am UI Scutai 
The largest star in our galaxy Find me in the night sky I am UI Scootai A red super giant in the Scootum constellation am I I am UI Scootai The largest star in our galaxy Find me in the night sky I am UI Scootai a red super giant in the Scutum constellation am I? Back 
again, that's HD 10546. Let me tell you a bit more about my disc. My circumstellar disc was observed by the Hubble telescope. Which should spiral patterns what they mean? No one really knows. My disc is fairly flat with a circular shape with a wide gap thought to be carved by my exoplanet. How great! When looking at the night sky, try to locate the constellation of Musca, but you have to look late. I'm a star surrounded by a circumstellar disc. My name is AG100546. I'm a star surrounded by a circumstellar disc from the constellation of Musca. Now hear this. My name is Kepler. 452B, also known as Earth 2.0, yeah that's me, I may support life within the Goldilocks zone, while orbiting a sun-like star like yours at home, let's see, where am I, I'm 1402 light years away from the solar system your Earth does play, I was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope on July 23rd, 2015 by NASA with hope. Though a study in 2018 by Fergal Mullally, I have not been proven to exist statistically. But if I do exist, I would be potentially the first rocky super Earth planet you will see. If life did exist on me, it would be because of my orbit around my sun-like star. That would be the cause. I orbit in a place called the Goldilocks Zone. That's a habitable zone of sun-like stars I do roam. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun-like star like yours at home. I have a probable mass five times that of the Earth. Though that's a rough estimate from astronomers, of course. I probably have many active volcanoes due to my higher mass and density compared to the Earth you call home. I have an orbit of 385 days, which is 20 more days than your Earth's year, I can say. The star that I orbit is called Kepler 452. It's the Earth-like star that I orbit, this is true. Maybe someday you can visit me and make history, but for now I'm known as a rocky super Earth, that's what I be. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun-like star like yours at home. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun-like star like yours at home. J1407B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star, and we can all agree. Its name is V1400 Centauri. In 2012, when I was discovered by Eric Mamajek. At the University of Rochester I earn the name of Super Saturn Because of my massive system of circumplanetary rings for sure 90 million kilometers is the radius of my rings That's about 200 times the size of Saturn's rings Which makes me the king When I orbit my sun it takes about a decade Which is estimated at about 3,720 25 days I'm within the constellation of Centaurus It's about 434 light years from the Earth But I don't fuss No one knows if I'm a gas giant Or a brown dwarf with rings I'm sure you'll find out more about me While 
I do my thing There's a gap in my rings Which probably means one thing It may have been made by an ex A moon of mine About this I do sing I also have another name When I show you, you will see It is 1S Wasp J147B My name is J1407B That's me I have a ring system Bigger than Saturn you see I orbit a young star And we can all agree Its name is V1400 Centauri My name is J1407B That's me I have a ring system Bigger than Saturn you you see, I orbit a young star and we can all agree Its name is V1400 Centauri I am TOI 561B One of the oldest rocky planets discovered you'll see B, also known as Super Earth, soon you'll also agree I am TOI 561B My surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity TOI 561B was discovered in the year of 2020 By the Transmitting Exoplanet Survey Satellite also known as TESS, it sees things way out of sight TOI 561B was discovered in the Milky Way galaxy With an estimated age of 13 billion years The Milky Way galaxy is super old, I do agree My estimated age is 10 billion years That makes me one of the oldest rocky planets discovered with cheer I am around 280 light years away I'm a third bigger than the Earth I do convey I get close when I orbit my G-type star It takes me 10.5 hours to orbit once because I'm not too far My mass is 1.59 of the Earth's That's one of the reasons I'm so unique for what that's worth Lauren Wise's team is researching me She's the team leader at the University of Hawaii It's unlikely any life can survive on me With a surface temperature of 3630 degrees That's roughly twice as hot as molten lava on Earth In Fahrenheit since my discovery and my birth I'm tidally locked to my G-type star in motion I have a permanent day side that's likely home to a magma ocean I am TOI 561B One of the oldest rocky planets discovered you'll see TOI 561B I am an exoplanet in the Milky Way galaxy TOI 561B Also known as Super Earth Soon you'll also agree I am TOI 561B My surface is extremely hot due to my star's proximity My name is TOI 700D An exoplanet outside the solar system I be My name is TOI 700D 101.4 light years away from Earth Let's learn about me I was discovered in January In the year of 2020 By Emily Gilbert While studying Astronomy 
I'm an exoplanet 101.4 light years away From Earth in the Dorado constellation, that's where I play I'm the first Earth-sized planet orbiting my host star TOI 700, a red dwarf, we know this so far I orbit my star in its habitable zone Maybe there's a presence of liquid water on my surface shown my star is 40% the mass of your sun And 55% of its temperature These facts are so fun I'm one of three exoplanets detected by test To be orbiting the host star TOI 700 We don't rest Our names are TOI 700 B and C And TOI 700 D You guessed it, that is me All three exoplanets may be tidally locked I do sing Which means the same faces towards the other we are orbiting I was discovered by test to see planets out of sight Called the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Test was designed and launched specifically to find Earth-sized planets orbiting nearby stars like me. Scientists confirmed the find called TOI 700D with NASA Spitzer Space Telescope independently. TOI is short for Transiting Exoplanet Survey. Satellite object of interest, it's so long to say. NASA's on the hunt for more Earth-sized planets, but for now you have me. I'm sure there's more to find yet you could become an astronomer a job that's out of this world you can be anything you want whether you're a boy or a girl my name is toi 700 d an exoplanet outside the solar system i be my name is toi 700 101.4 light years away from Earth, let's learn about me. I am an exoplanet, my name is Kepler, 1649C. I orbit a red dwarf, Kepler, 1649, you now see. Exoplanets orbit outside your solar system, that's where I hide. I am similar to Earth, I'm spun, find out more when this song is done. I was discovered in April 2020, the year, by the Kepler Space Telescope. So we are clear Jeff Coughlin The director of S-E-T-I Said I'm similar to planet Earth Found so far by the Space Telescope Kepler at large I'm about 300 light years from your Earth In the constellation of Cygnus For what that's worth I'm identified as a rocky planet By NASA my radius is 1.6 times that of Earth I know that you're in awe I take 19.5 Earth days to orbit my host star Kepler 1649 is its name The Red Dwarf in charge I am in the habitable zone of my red dwarf star so far this is known due to the lack of information on my atmosphere it is unclear if I can sustain liquid water on my surface around my sphere I am an exoplanet, my name is Kepler, 1649C. I orbit a red dwarf, 
Kepler 1649 You now see Exoplanets orbit outside Your solar system That's where I hide I am similar to Earth I'm spun Find out more when this song is done I am an exoplanet My name is Kepler 1649C I orbit a red dwarf Kepler 1649 You now see Exoplanets orbit outside Your solar system That's where I hide I am similar to Earth I'm spun Find out more when this song is done I'm an extrasolar planet Named 51 Pegasi B Discovered in 1995 At Earth Province Observatory I'm an extrasolar planet Named 51 Pegasi B I am formally named Dominium Yeah, that is me I was the first exoplanet orbiting A main sequence star 51 Pegasi is my star's name I know it sounds bizarre I'm the prototype for a class of planets called Hot Jupiters I'm 1850 degrees Fahrenheit Measured by astronomers I was first discovered In the year of 1995 At the Hope Province Observatory With their eye tip towards the sky The astronomers who discovered me I will tell you in this song They are Michelle Mayer And Didier Quillos They are headstrong My discovery had won these men A Nobel Prize in Physics There was nothing to be said about them By their critics My Jupiter mass Is a round point four six That's my unit of mass Equal to the total mass of Jupiter the planet I'm located 50 light years from The constellation Pegasus You need a very large telescope to see me This you can trust In 2015 the IAU announced my chosen name Without a laugh They named me Dimidium Which is an adverb meaning by half Dimidium is my name because my mass is almost half of Jupiter's Since my discovery, lots of exoplanets have been discovered I am much closer to my star than Mercury is to your sun That is why I'm so hot Yeah Well I am spun My orbital speed is in miles per hour 304,000 Now that's a lot of great power I am thought to be tidally locked To my host star Much like the moon is to your earth But not as far I'm an extrasolar planet Named 51 Pegasi B Discovered in 1995 At Oak Province Observatory I'm an extrasolar planet Named 51 Pegasi 
they know about me this far I was discovered in the month of August On the 30th day in the year of 2004 I convey I was nicknamed the Diamond Planet Due to research that suggests I have a carbon rich composition Underneath my surface I was discovered by a female astronomer She goes by the name of Barbara MacArthur The detection method used by astronomers to find me is a method called radial velocity. My host star Copernicus from 55 can create is from Earth, a 40 light year trip away. My host star is a G type star similar to your sun. You know I'm 0.01544 AU from my star's glow. My name is 55 can create, also known. Star named Copernicus. Here's what they know about me this far. My mass is about 8.08 that of the Earth. I take 0.7 days to complete one orbit of my star for what that's worth. I belong to the constellation called Cancer. Here is an example of what it looks like. Of this, I am sure. In 2016, in the month of February, NASA's Hubble telescope detected two gases on me. Those gases were hydrogen and helium with hints of hydrogen cyanide while it was on its run. I am tidally locked just like your moon. That means I have a dark side. You won't see it too soon. Silicates in my atmosphere would condense into clouds on my tidally locked dark side. I commence reflecting the lava from below so there would be a sparkle in my dark skies that don't show my day side temperatures average about 4200 degrees that is in fahrenheit if you please there are more planets orbiting my host star we will visit those soon keep it on your radar my name is 55 can create also known Here's what they know about me this far. This is a total solar eclipse. Come see my narrow path in which I travel on the Earth's surface. This is a total solar eclipse. My totality is awe inspiring, so don't miss this. This celestial event is called a solar eclipse. Let me tell you about it so you can understand all this. A solar eclipse is caused by the moon, that is me. I pass in between the sun and the earth till black is what you see. Here are several stages and some visual tips that you can use to recognize a total solar eclipse. Stage one is called a partial eclipse is when the sun's disk is partially blocked by the moon like this the stage two is called bailey's beats which are bright spots of light it's when low lying valleys on the moon's edge allow sunlight through that's right stage three is sometimes called the diamond ring this stage is key in which marks the last few seconds before totality the last bit of sunlight that is able to shine through the low lying valleys creates a single of light on the side of the moon the fourth and most important stage is called totality when the moon completely covers the disk of the sun this is what you see then comes the final stages in which the sun will grow a crescent on the opposite side of the bailey's beads what's once had shown but before you see this celestial event there's a few safety precautions for eye injuries to prevent this is a total solar eclipse Come see my narrow path in which I travel on the Earth's surface. This is a total solar eclipse. My totality is awe inspiring, so don't miss this. On Monday, August 21st, 2017, there's a total solar eclipse. North America will see. But the totality you want to see can only be observed from Lincoln Beach, Oregon to Charleston, South Carolina, so I've heard. The path of totality is 70 miles wide, they say. Seen in 14 states in the continental U.S. of A. Totality lasts a few minutes, so be sure to be there and please use special safety glasses so your vision isn't impaired. You can buy these special solar eclipse glasses online, so protect your eyes from the sun while having a great time. This is 
is a total solar eclipse Come see my narrow path in which I travel on the Earth's surface This is a total solar eclipse My totality is awe-inspiring, so don't miss this A solar eclipse has several areas we need to discuss Take a look at this picture to learn each part is a must This is a total solar eclipse My totality is awe-inspiring So don't miss this Let's learn about the lunar eclipse It's when the moon darkens as it passes into the Earth's shadow Please don't miss this Let's learn about the lunar eclipse The Earth passes between the moon and the sun Till the Earth's shadow I kiss On the moon you can see me Day or night, when you look into the sky on the Earth's natural satellite You may be asking yourself, what's a lunar eclipse? It's when the Earth passes between the moon and sun like this When the sun hits the Earth, the Earth casts a shadow upon me We'll learn about the shadows, names and the stages of the eclipse You will see the penumbras, a partially shaded outer region of the shadow cast by an opaque object like the earth not letting the light pass the umbra is the fully shaded area you see here caused by the opaque object earth not letting any light pass there there are seven stages to this event you will see caused by the penumbra and umbra you'll learn these names with me stage one is the penumbra it's when i enter the penumbra here and a partial shadow is cast on my surface over there stage two is a partial eclipse when the earth moves between the sun and the moon a bit more casting more of a shadow upon me the total eclipse is the name of stage three it's when the earth blocks the rays of the sun completely the maximum eclipse is stage four you may see me turn a reddish color this is the middle of the total eclipse to me there is no other stage five is called the total eclipse and it's when I touch the umbra internally once again Stage 6 is called the partial eclipse And it's when the moon leaves the umbra moving to the penumbra again The penumbral eclipse end is the final stage you see It's when the moon leaves the penumbra and the sun shines itself on me Let's learn about the lunar eclipse It's when the moon darkens as it passes into the earth's shadow Please don't miss this, let's learn about Between the moon and the sun till the earth's shadow I kiss Let's learn about the lunar eclipse It's when the moon darkens as it passes into the earth's shadow Please don't miss this Let's learn about the lunar eclipse The earth passes between the moon and the sun till the earth's shadow I kiss We are some planets all different in size Here's our planetary size comparison for you live We'll look at each planet measured by their radius here There are so many planets that will appear I am Ceres I am felt as the largest object in the asteroid belt I am Orcus to be direct I'm a trans-Neptunian object I'm known as Sedna if you can stand it I'm a large minor planet I am Quarr you may respect as a trans-Neptunian object my name's kind of funny it's Maki Maki I am a dwarf planet, yeah that's me Haumea is my name, I'm sixth in line with fame A dwarf planet, yeah we're not all the same 
My name is Eris. I am a dwarf planet. The most massive dwarf in your system yet. You know me as Pluto. I was a planet, but now dwarf, you know. I hope the IAU puts me back as a planet, though. Who's Kepler-37B? Wait a minute, that's me! An extrasolar planet that you now see. I am Mercury, the second hottest as I'm spun. I'm in your solar system, closest planet to your sun. Come visit this planet so far to learn all about Mars. I'm the 10th largest planet, but not really in charge. My name is Venus, for what that is worth. I'm almost the same size as your beautiful Earth. I'm the Earth on this planetary run. Please take care of me, I'm the planet you all live on. Proxima Centauri B, I'm the planet you see. An exoplanet in a habitable zone, you degree. Have you heard about me? Kepler 10B is my name. I have a rocky surface, I'm amazing, some do claim. My surface is a furnace, I'm Coro 7B. 489 light years from the Earth, that's me. Neptune centers Earth size in my atmosphere's methane, hydrogen, and helium. And I'm the most distant from our burning sun. I'm Uranus, the planet seventh from the sun, yet I'm blue with 13 rings, I'm sure we have met. You know me as Saturn with rings, this is true. I have the most moons in the solar system, now 82. I'm Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. I am the fifth planet from the sun. I'm an extrasolar planet, this is 51 Pegasi B. Some think my atmosphere contains water that we may see. I am a planet, my name's Gliss 876D. An extrasolar planet up in this mix, that's me. I'm named HD 100546B. I am designated the largest known planet you see. We are some planets, all different in size. Here's our planetary size comparison for you live. We'll look at each planet, measured by their radius here. There are so many planets that will appear. Here's a moon size comparison in our solar system. We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done. We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit. We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit. My name is Tethys, I'm one of Saturn's 82 moons. My radius is 531 kilometers, it is true. I am Dion, I orbit Saturn, you do see. My radius is 561 kilometers, that is me. Ariel is my name, Uranus is what I orbit. My radius is 578 kilometers, I'm third on the list. I am Umbriel, Uranus is where I'm from. My radius is 584 kilometers, I am spun. I'm the moon of Sharon, I float in orbit. Pluto radius is 606 kilometers, this I do know. I'm Iapetus, a moon of Saturn. Radius of 734 kilometers as I turn. Oberon is my name, outermost moon of Uranus. 761 kilometers is my radius. I am Rhea. Saturn's second largest moon radius of 763 kilometers. See you soon. Here's a moon size comparison in our solar system. We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done. We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit. We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit. Not Titania, the largest moon of Uranus. 788 kilometers is my radius. The name is Triton. 
the largest moon of Neptune. I'm 1,353 kilometers in radius in this tune. Europa is frozen and the moon of Jupiter. My radius is 1,560 kilometers. I am the moon of the planet Earth. My radius is 1,737 kilometers for what it's worth. Hello, I'm Io, the strangest moon of Jupiter, with a radius of 1,821 kilometers. I'm Callisto, I orbit Jupiter, you see. My radius is 2,410 kilometers, that's all on me. Titan is my name, Saturn's my claim to fame. 2,574 kilometers is my radius, I claim. I'm gonna meet the largest moon in the solar system. Jupiter is what I orbit, yeah, that's where I'm from. My radius is 2,634 kilometers now. Let's listen to the chorus while the moons take a bow. Here's a moon-sized comparison in our solar system We're happy if you shed some light on us until we are done We're measured by our radius, you'll hear in a bit We'll also tell you the planet in which we orbit We're astronomical objects brought to you here by size Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans-Neptunian we fly we're astronomical objects brought to you here by size We all orbit the sun that may come as some surprise I'm Phoebe, an irregular satellite of Saturn I'd be my alternative name is Saturn 9 You can see, discovered in 1899 by William Pickering My diameter is 213 kilometers while I do my thing I'm 10199 Caraclo, an asteroid with rings the largest Confirm small body of the outer solar system, I sing. I'm possibly a dwarf planet with a measured diameter of 232 kilometers, I'm sure. I'm 38628, Huya, a minor planet in your system. Or trans Neptunian object is my technical term as I'm spun. You can find me in the Kuiper Belt in the outer solar system. My diameter is 406 kilometers, how fun. I'm 2018 BG18, of this I am sure A trans-Neptunian object, don't leave, there is more First observed in 2018 by three astronomers 500 kilometers is my known diameter My name is Vesta, I'm a minor planet You now know I'm one of the largest objects in the asteroid belt I do show I'm probably the second largest asteroid after Ceres I have a mean diameter of 525 kilometers, you see. I'm 2014 UZ224, a trans-Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet, but the IAU hasn't decided yet. Out in the Kuiper belt I was discovered, I am sure, 635 kilometers is my diameter. I'm 20,000 Varuna, a large trans-Neptunian object. In the Kuiper belt I dwell in possible dwarf, but not yet. My elongated shape is due to my rapid rotation 668 kilometers is my diameter well spun I am Ceres, I am a dwarf planet I'm the largest object in the main asteroid belt to orbit I am too dim to be seen by the naked eye for sure I am 946 kilometers in diameter My name is Senna, I am a minor planet on the run I'm three times as far as Neptune from the sun My surface is one of the reddest among the solar system objects I'm 995 kilometers in diameter, glad we met My name is Horror and I'm a dwarf planet candidate but for now I'm a non-resonant trans-Neptunian object I reside in the Kuiper Belt, it's so cold here Burr. And I'm 1110 kilometers in diameter 
of 2007 or 10 that name it stood strong with the proposed name in 2019 of gong gong my furthest distance is 9.4 billion miles from the sun my diameter is 1230 kilometers as i run not maki maki a minor planet i be i'm perhaps the second largest object in the kuiper belt you see i was discovered in 2005 by a team led by michael brown and currently 1430 kilometers in diameter and i'm round almea is my name i'm a dwarf planet by fame beyond neptune's orbit you can find me with some aim i'm the third largest known trans neptunian object i'm 1632 kilometers in diameter last i checked my name is Ceres. i am a dwarf planet as well and the second largest dwarf planet in the solar system how swell located beyond the kuiper belt in a region called the scatter disk my diameter in kilometers is 2326 i'm pluto no, I'm a big deal as the largest dwarf planet I used to be the night planet in the solar system till I quit I am part of the cold and lonely Kuiper Belt My diameter is 2376 kilometers so I tell We're astronomical objects brought to you here by Psy Some within Neptune's orbit, others trans-Neptunian we fly we're astronomical objects brought to you here by size We all orbit the sun that may come as some surprise We're all stars, we're all stars compared to each other by size You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go I'm the Crab Pulsar, a young neutron star I'm Calvera, an isolated neutron star that's far my name's Bela X1, I'm a neutron star as well Sirius B, that's me, a small white dwarf as you can tell I'm EBLMJ 555-57AB My name's Trappist 1, an ultra cool red dwarf star in sight I'm Proxima Centauri, a main sequence red dwarf star I am your son, a yellow dwarf that isn't too far Alpha Centauri A is an orange star, you see I am Sirius A, a main sequence star, that's me We're all stars, we're all stars Compared to each other by size You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky We're all stars, we're all stars Our colors vary, you know We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium Here we go VFTS-352, contact binary 1 and 2 Come close to two very hot, bright, massive stars that orbit each other, it's true My name is Pollux, a red giant star here Arcturus is a red giant star, I hope I made that clear R-136A1 is a wolf riot star thus far I'm Aldebaran, a red giant star, that's me Rigel is here, a blue-white supergiant you can see I am Beetlejuice and I'm a red supergiant in class V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hypergiant star with mass I'm U.I. Scutai, the biggest red supergiant this far Join us to sing the chorus, now get your head out of the stars We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go We're all stars, we're all stars stars compared to each other by size you can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky we're all stars we're all stars our colors vary you know we're made mostly of hydrogen and helium here we go there's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see Let's look at this galaxy size comparison From small to big, of course, now here we come 
I'm Segway 2, I'm a dwarf spheroidal galaxy Situated in the constellation of Aries My radius is 110.89 light years they say Discovered in 2009 by Sloan Digital Sky Survey My name's Messier32, a dwarf early type galaxy Am I 2.65 million light years from Earth I fly I was discovered in the year of 1749 I am 6500 light years across and that's just fine I'm small Magellanic Cloud or Nubicula Minor A dwarf irregular galaxy There's nothing finer I'm near the Milky Way But not a stone's toss My diameter's about 7,000 light years across I'm Triangulum A spiral galaxy you see Sometimes I'm referred to as a pinwheel galaxy I was discovered officially in 1764 I'm 50,000 light years across This info is now yours I'm the Whirlpool Galaxy, also called Messier 51 I'm a spiral galaxy, my arms reach out while I'm spun I was first discovered in the year of 1773 76,000 light years is the distance across me I'm the Milky Way Galaxy, a gigantic spiral disk With a bright central bulge that you can't miss I'm 100,000 light years, your sun is AKPC from my center On what is known as a Ryan's arm, it's a real bender. I'm Hoag's object, a non-typical galaxy of the type known as the Ring Galaxy, as you can see. 121,000 light years across, bigger than the Milky Way, discovered by author Hoag in 1958. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big, of course, now here we come. I'm the Cartwheel Galaxy, a lenticular and ring galaxy, discovered by Fritz Wicke in 1941. I'm 150,000 light years across, my beauty is number one. I am M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, discovered by Pierre Michon in 1781, if you please. I'm 170,000 light years across, nearly twice the size of the Milky Way, now that's quite a toss. I'm the Andromeda Galaxy, a spiral galaxy, I say, in the nearest major galaxy to your Milky Way. My name stems from the constellation of Andromeda. I'm 220,000 light years across, I'll be seeing ya. I'm NGC 6872, also known as Condor Galaxy. I'm a large part spiral galaxy, I'm sure you'd agree. Discovered in 1835 by John Herschel, the boss. I'm very large at 700,000 light years across. I'm the giant temple galaxy, a disrupted part spiral, you see. I was discovered in the year of 2018 I'm 10 times the size of the Milky Way that's extremely large my friend I'm 1 million light years long from end to end I'm IC 1101 a supergiant elliptical galaxy I'm one of the largest known galaxies found in your universe you see discovered in the year of 1790 by John Herschel 6 million light years across what stars I am full there's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big of course now here we come this is a size comparison of mountains in our solar system so you know we all orbit the sun We'll work from small to large Until we're done We're not all the mountains of the solar system Just the largest ones My name is Makaloo I'm on the planet Earth I'm the fifth highest mountain in the world You've learned this in this verse I'm on the border of Nepal and China I'm 5.26 miles tall What could be finer? I'm Lotse On planet Earth as well the fourth highest peak on Earth, on me not many dwell. I'm located on the border of China and Nepal, and in height I'm 5.29 miles tall. Kongchengchenga, Earth is what I call home. I'm the third highest peak above sea level on Earth come Rome. 
part of the Himalayas in Nepal and India you see At 5.33 miles tall I'm sure you'll notice me I'm known as K2, Earth is where I am found I'm the second highest mountain above sea level around In the Himalayas shared between China and Pakistan I'm 5.35 miles high if you visit have a plan I'm Mount Everest, Earth's my obvious location I'm the highest peak on Earth, above sea level, come here on vacation. I call the Himalayas home, I separate China and Nepal. I'm 5.49 miles in height, come climb me and have a ball. I'm on Ikea, the Earth is where I lay. I'm on the island of Hawaii, where lots of people come to stay. I'm the tallest mountain in the world, measured beneath the sea. At my base at 6.34 miles high, come climb my mountain face. I'm called Pavonis Mons on the planet of Mars. I'm bigger than Mauna Kea, so I'm raising the bar. I am seventh highest on this list and a giant in the skyline. It's 6.8 miles tall, a shield volcano am I. Elysium Mons, that's my name you had learned. I'm on the planet of Mars, let me continue my turn. I'm the eighth highest mountain on this list at 7.8 miles tall. I'm a volcano, be the first to climb my wall. I'm Ascreus Mons, also on Mars the planet. I come in ninth place on this list, this I admit. I'm a large shield volcano located in the Tharsis region. At 9.3 miles high, to climb me wouldn't be fun. I'm Olympus Mons, I sit tall on the planet of Mars. I'm the largest mountain in the solar system by far. I'm a very large shield volcano and the biggest in our system. My height is 13.7 miles high and now I'm done. This is a size comparison of mountains in our solar system. So you know we all orbit the sun. We'll work from small to large until we're done. We're not all the mountains of the solar system, just the largest ones. We're the world's tallest buildings Here to tell you about ourselves The views from our tops are quite chilling In the world's tallest buildings We celebrate the architects who created us And the people we bring I'm China Sun, the tallest building in Beijing That is in China, in case you were wondering At a height of 1731 feet tall I was built by the CITIC, as I recall 4.7 million square feet and 109 floors within me I was completed in the year of 2018 Tianjin CTF Finance Center is my name The second tallest building in Tianjin, China, that's my fame My height is 1739 feet An impressive size and I'm owned by Chow Tai Fook The Enterprise Over 2.7 million square feet And 97 floors inside me I was completed in the year of 2019 Guangzhou City of Finance Center is located in Guangzhou, China. We hope you enter. Also 1,739 feet tall. Also owned by Chow Tai Fook Enterprises, that's not all. I'm 5.4 million square feet and 111 floors completed in 2016 and I am adored. I am one World Trade Center and located in the state of New York in the USA I've been. I'm 1,792 feet from the ground to my tip. Owned by New York and New Jersey Port Authority. Now this, I'm 3.5 million square feet and 94 floors as seen and I was completed in the year of 2014. I'm Latte World Tower, it's nice to meet ya. I am located in Seoul, South Korea. I'm 1,821 feet in height, owned by Latte. Property and development, that's right. At 3.2 million square feet and 123 floors, completed in 2016, come visit me on tour. Golden Finance, 117 Tower. Located in Tianjin, China, and full of power. 1957 feet tall, you know. Golden properties, holdings, develop me though. You'll find 4 million square feet and 
117 stories here My completion should be in 2020 the year I'm the Pingyang Finance Center There's nothing finer Located in Shenzhen within China It's 1966 feet from the ground to my tip Pingyang Group owns me Now you all know this 4.9 million square feet and 115 floors and lean I was completed in the year of 2017 Mecca Royal Hotel Clock Tower I will show ya Located in Mecca, Saudi Arabia I'm 1972 feet to my top And I'm government owned I'll be here till I drop 21.5 million square feet and 120 floors and me Completed in 2011, I think that is plenty I'm known as the Shanghai Tower Tallest tower in Shanghai, China I hope I empower 2,073 feet from the sky to my cement I'm owned by Shanghai Tower Construction and Development Over 4 million square feet and 128 floors within Completed in 2014, where have you been? This is the Borsh Khalifa Located in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates That's where I climb high I'm 2,722 feet tall from the ground to tip Owned by Amar Properties, yet I'm still hip With a total built up area of 5.6 million square feet And 163 floors, a size that can't be beat Completed in 2009, I'm the tallest tower in the world to date If you ever make it to Dubai, to see me would be great we're the world's tallest buildings Here to tell you about ourselves The views from our tops are quite chilling In the world's tallest buildings We celebrate the architects who created us And the people we bring We are pyramids Yeah, we're all man-made We are architecture of new and ancient ancestry We are pyramids of old and modern time We will show you our location Come visit us and climb I'm the Memphis Pyramid In Memphis, Tennessee Built of steel and concrete Modern tools built me I was built for sports and concerts In 1991 Now used as a bass pro shop For fishermen fun Isaac Tigrep placed a crystal skull Within me When it was removed, bad luck struck I'm known as the Tomb of Doom, you see 322 feet high and 10th largest on this list 535,000 square feet now you know this I'm the Ben Pyramid in Dushur Egypt built way back when I'm made of limestone blocks built by the hands of men I was built for Pharaoh Sneferu in the 4th dynasty yeah I was constructed in 2600 BC at 344 feet tall in the 9th largest you see here come to Egypt to visit me I'll be here for years I'm the Red Pyramid located in Giza, Egypt Made of red limestone My hue is why I was called this Also built for Pharaoh Sneferu in the 4th Dynasty It ranged from 2613 to 2589 BC At 345 feet tall, I'm smooth sided, not stepped I hope you come to explore me in Egypt This is the Luxor Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada on the strip finished in 1993 built with modern tools i'm hip i have over 4400 rooms that you can comfortably stay in i was built to entertain some people lose some people win 350 feet tall i'm made of glass and steel if you come to vegas come see me i have curb appeal the pyramid of cafe he's egypt's my location made of huge limestone blocks built by the hands of men built for the tomb of the great pharaoh Khafre, you know the second largest and second tallest pyramid of giza i show i'm 448 feet tall which puts me fifth on this list come visit if you can thanks for learning all this i'm the great pyramid of giza giza egypt's where you'll find me i'm the oldest and the largest pyramid of the three egyptologists believe i was built as a tomb for the fourth dynasty
Dynasty Egyptian Pharaoh Khufu. I was 481 feet before erosion occurred at all, but since that happened, now I'm 455 feet tall. The Transamerica Pyramid in San Francisco, California, built with concrete, glass, and steel. I'm strong, I tell ya. My shape was built for environmental practicality to let natural light and airflow reach the San Francisco streets. At 853 feet tall, I'm seventh tallest here, you know, but the second tallest. Building in San Francisco, Al Faisalia Center in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, built with steel and concrete. And this I will share with you. I was the first skyscraper built in Saudi Arabia. You know there are many taller than me now. Come visit me though. I'm 876 feet tall if measured to my tip. I am considered a pyramid and I'm eighth on this list. I'm called the Shard. I'm located in London, UK. I have 11,000 glass panels, come here and stay I'm 1,016 feet tall and take a pyramid shape I'm the tallest building in the UK, I like to skyscrape Leung Hotel in Pyongyang, North Korea The world's tallest unoccupied building, I will show ya I'm considered the tallest modern pyramid of all At 1,082.7 feet tall We are pyramids, yeah we're all man-made We are architecture of new and ancient ancestry We are pyramids of old and modern time We will show you our location Come visit us and climb This is a size comparison Of objects in our universe We'll start with the smallest And go to the largest Most well-known objects We know of course I am Ceres, I am a dwarf planet Maki Maki's a dwarf planet as well but didn't plan it I am Hamea, a dwarf planet in this group Pluto is a dwarf but used to be a planet, it's true Ares is a dwarf planet in this mix The Earth's moon is where your eyes are transfixed Mercury is here, an official planet I'm the planet of Mars, I'm sure you all know this I'm planet Venus, my size you may think is large Planet Earth is next, and the humans think that they're in charge Neptune's a planet in our solar system, wow Planet Uranus is here, I wish I could take a bow Planet Saturn has rings, if you think I am big Check out planet Jupiter, I hope you can dig this is a size comparison of objects in our universe We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest Most well-known objects we know of course I am the sun, a yellow dwarf that isn't far I am Sirius A, a main sequence star My name is Pollux, a red giant star, it's true Arcturus is a red giant star, this I thought you knew I'm Aldebaran, a red giant star, that's me Hi, I'm Rigel, a blue-white super giant, you see I am Beetlejuice and I'm a red super giant in class I'm in Tauris, I'm a red super giant that won't last V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hyper giant star I'm U.I. Scutai, the biggest red super giant this far I am the Milky Way galaxy and you live in me Now let's all sing the chorus together with glee This is a size comparison of objects in our universe We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. It's Earth Day, yeah, every day Help take care of the Earth where you live and play 
On Earth Day, the 22nd of April We all fight today for a better tomorrow On April 22nd, the world celebrates The Earth that you all live on and how to appreciate There's certain things you do that affect the Earth I have a natural balance when it's messed with, I am hurt Reduce, reuse, recycle, plant, donate, don't throw away Are the topics we'll touch upon in this song on Earth Day Reduce the use of plastic because you all live on me If you don't it hurts the environment and pollutes the land and sea Reduce means use less or smaller in amount only 8% of plastic is recycled, take that into account Reuse things you have instead of throwing them away Here's some things that you can reuse to do your part each day Glass jars, containers, and some types of cans They can be reused in other ways if you have a plan You can reuse newspapers, magazines, and paper bags For our projects like paper mache to show your friends and brag Plastic bags can be reused as grocery totes And if you can't find uses for them, here's how to recycle those Any family should have a bin for recycling Make sure you put each item in the proper bins to recycle these things Planting trees creates oxygen for you to breathe This is important because oxygen is what we all need Donate the things you don't need instead of throwing them away There are people all over that can use your donations today Everything you do now can create the changes within me The future is in your hands Make the changes we all need Happy Earth Day to you Celebrate this day every day It's so important for the future of this Earth Where you all play It's Earth Day Yeah, every day Help take care of the Earth Where you live and play On Earth Day, the 22nd of April We all fight today for a better tomorrow Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other Forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter On the winter solstice, December 21st in 2020 Look to the night sky to see this event, the joy it'll bring is plenty Alignments between Jupiter and Saturn are pretty rare Only occurring around once in every 20 years but this upcoming conjunction's exceptionally rare Only because of how close we planets will appear It said the last time this occurred was in medieval times In the year of 1226 was the closest that we aligned Alignments between these two planets happens once every 20 years But this conjunction will be very rare because of how close we appear We'll be aligning on the same day as the winter solstice On December 21st, 2020, the whole world can witness this If you live in the northern hemisphere, looking low in the southwestern sky You can see it shining bright, shortly after sunset, with the naked eye We'll appear extremely close for about a month ahead But we won't make such a close approach again until the year 2400 Typically Jupiter orbits the Sun every 12 years Saturn's orbit around the Sun takes about 30 years Every couple of decades Jupiter laps Saturn in flight Be sure to watch the sky December 21st in 2020 at night Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other Forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter On the winter solstice, December 21st in 2020 Look to the night sky to see this event, the joy it'll bring is plenty Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other Forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter on the winter solstice, December 21st, in 2020 Look to the night sky to see this event The joy it'll bring is plenty 
We're on a mission to Mars with ULA United Launch Alliance is making launches to Ray We're on a mission to Mars with ULA Bringing the Perseverance rover to Mars in 2020 Before we launch we need to plan in advance If we don't time this right we'll be launching by chance The Earth and Mars are moving on different lines So we have to wait for is close to earth in time when we launch we need to create the right trajectory and aim at a point in space where mars will be seven months from july you see if we launch between july 20th and august 11th it sets us forth to reach mars in seven months when it's closest to earth we're on the launch pad waiting to leave we'll take off in t minus six five I'd say that's a good start My RD-180 engine has a lot of thrust And the Atlas booster on this mission is a must I have two 5 and payload fairings There's a left and a right The house is my center Which is crucial for this flight The center brings the sky crane and rover into orbit Then shoots it to Mars to discover more about its planet Shortly after liftoff, the Atlas rocket begins to for the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure on it The SRBs are released at 1 minute 49 seconds Once all SRBs are released then they are done At 4 minutes 22 seconds propellant levels deplete And the main engine shuts down This part of my mission is complete 6 seconds later the Atlas Centaur separation activates This is the time to release the booster stage 10 seconds later Centaur's first engine burn begins Sending the Centaur into circular orbit on its ascent At 11 minutes cut off of Centaur's main engine occurs The Centaur will now start to coast but don't be concerned The Centaur main engine is restarted for the second of two burns Providing the thrust for Centaur to escape Earth's orbit in turn 7 minutes later the second cut off of the main engine happens Centaur goes for 5 minutes for the spacecraft separation At 56 minutes, Centaur releases Perseverance with power Into hyperbolic orbit at 26,000 miles per hour Seven months later, the gravity on Mars will capture the spacecraft you see And hold on to it until the sky crane is set to release The sky crane is used for entry, descent, and landing Of the rover on Mars' surface This job is so demanding there's 7 minutes to get from Mars' atmosphere to its surface Going from 13,000 miles per hour to zero without a miss When the spacecraft is released after entering the atmosphere Its parachute deploys to slow the sky crane that's shown here The parachute releases and the sky crane boosters ignite It hovers the rover above Mars' surface at the right height The crane lowers the rover with cables above Mars' surface Then releases the rover safely on its wheels with bliss NASA's Perseverance rover has two main objectives you see To find signs of life and sample materials they be This is the first part of a return mission to Earth With ULA exploring the known universe We're on a mission to Mars with ULA United Launch Alliance is making launches to Ray We're on a mission to Mars with ULA Bringing the Perseverance rover to Mars in 2020 this is a solar expedition on renewable energy We'll see how solar panel cells produce free electricity Our sun's a nuclear reactor shooting photons at us for free Let's harness this power through silicon into batteries What is solar power? It's the conversion of energy from our sunlight into 
electricity Our sun's a natural nuclear reactor You should know It's the most abundant energy resource on Earth I'll show Now what's a photon? They're light particles produced by the sun They're made by nuclear fusion Shot into space in all directions It takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds For a photon to run Before it reaches our Earth From the surface of our sun Photons are made of electromagnetic radiation They're tiny packets of energy I convert into electricity for fun On a photovoltaic cell A solar cell you see I'm like an electrical leaf I use the sun to produce energy Solar panels are made up of me Small solar cells These cells are made from silicon Of this I will tell Silicon is a semiconductor For what it is worth And one of the most abundant elements On the planet Earth In a solar cell there are three layers Shown right here I will tell you about each layer As they appear The thin top layer does contain silicon You should know And a tiny amount of an element Called phosphorus I show the phosphorus has more electrons Than the silicon does That means there are more electrons Making this area more conductive This layer with the phosphorus Gives electrons more room to roam Which makes it negatively charged So it's called the N-type as shown The bottom layer contains silicon And an element called boron Which has fewer electrons Than the surrounding silicon Because of the fewer electrons This layer is positively charged That's why it's called the P-type layer As shown at large My middle layer is called the P-N Junction Soon we'll see what happens When photons hit me from the sun Silicon atoms are connected to its neighbor by four strong bonds This keeps the electrons in place in which I'm not so fond When a photon shoots into a solar cell with enough energy It can knock off an electron from its bond Leaving a hole you see The negatively charged electron and positively charged hole Are now free to roam around but there's only one way each can go Because of the electrical field in the PN junction The electrons drawn to the N type and the hole is drawn to the p-type they run the mobile electrons are collected by metal strips at the top of the solar cell from there they flow to the external circuits power a light bulb i tell they flow through and return to the conductive aluminum sheet on my back then they return from where they came from with no waste that's a fact a single solar panel has many solar cells to create more energy in a small space to keep your home running well when too much energy is produced it gets sent back to the electrical grid to help produce more electricity for some other kid the sun produces more energy each hour than we will ever need there's so many ways that we can create renewable energy this is a solar expedition on renewable energy we'll see how solar panel cells produce free electricity our sun's a nuclear reactor shooting photons at us for free let's harness this power through silicon